Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to check your iPhone uh, app history. So let's get started. So in order to check the app history, especially for download, it's going to be really simple on your iPhone. First thing is you're going to want to go into setting of your iPhone. And once you go into your setting of your iPhone, click on your Apple ID up top here. And once you click on that, you're going to see the option here for your media and purchases. So we're going to click on that. And after that, it's going to ask you to um, either sign out or view your account here. We're just going to click on view our account and it might prompt you for your password like it did. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my password here for my Apple ID. Now, once you enter your Apple ID, simply click on sign in and it's going to sign you in. And from there on, we can go ahead and check out our purchase history. So if we click on purchase history, it's going to give us a list of all the apps that we downloaded, but we need to select the right filter. So as you can see, you're currently it's showing us in the last 90 days that are paid. But if we click on it, we can change the filter to a longer time period, maybe to this year or something. And then we can change the cost to have it selected both free and paid and hit that apply option. And as you can see here, so all of the apps that I have downloaded in my history is going to be all listed here and also the price if you paid for it. If it's zero, obviously it was a free app, but you can list it through it. And then you can change, of course, the date if you wanted to do a custom one for a specific time period. Like let's say you can go back or you can also select last year, right? And you can hit apply and it will update to give you the history just like that. So that's how you check your app history on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.